and the beanstalk. Now who is this? And what's in his hand? Jack and his magic beans. What? Magic beans? Once there was a boy named Jack. He lived with his mother, but they were very poor. They struggled hard to make a decent living. One day, Jack's mother was very ill, and they had no money to pay for her medicines. All they had was their pet cow with no other means. Jack set out to the market to sell their cow to buy his mother's medicine. But on his way, he met a strange old man. You seem to be a good boy. Sell this cow to me and take these magic beans. Magic beans? Yes, they can fetch you a fortune. Jack thought a while, and trusting the old man, Jack sold his cow in exchange for the magic beans. But his mother was quite upset. Oh no! We lost our cow. Someone has cheated you, Jack. These beans are worthless. Saying so, she threw the magic beans out in the garden. Sorry, mother. I just wanted to help you. But what? That night, the magic beans sprouted and grew taller and taller into a never-ending beanstalk, reaching the clouds and into the sky. Early next morning, Jack could not believe what he saw. He was surprised to find the tallest beanstalk in the world. I am dreaming. Being curious, Jack quickly climbed up the beanstalk. As he climbed up, he met a fairy. Keep climbing, Jack! He finally reached a big cloud on the top. He saw a big castle of an evil giant who had amassed wealth by robbing the poor. As Jack peeped into the castle, he saw a huge giant sitting on his table with a beautiful hen. So this is the evil giant who torments the poor in nearby villages? Quick, give me my golden eggs or I will eat you up. Jack was surprised to see that the hen was no ordinary one. It laid a golden egg. Fee fi fo fum. Do I smell human? Sensing danger, Jack hid himself safely. Nah, it can't be real, for no human can ever come here. Later, after a sumptuous meal, the giant was fast asleep. Then Jack quickly took the hen from the table and swiftly climbed down the beanstalk. Next day, Jack climbed up the beanstalk again and watched closely on the giant. Today, the giant sat with his golden harp. Jack was surprised to see that the harp played melodious tunes all by itself on its golden strings. Just then, Fee, fi, fo, fum. Do I smell a human? Sensing danger, Jack hid himself safely. Nah, it can't be real, for no human can ever come here. Soon, the harp's melodious tunes put the giant to sleep. Jack quickly took the golden harp and ran towards the beanstalk as fast as he could. But the golden harp was terrified and started to cry and shout. Wait, wait, where are you taking me? The giant will break me into pieces. The noise woke up the giant. On finding the harp missing, he soon chased Jack. Wait till I catch you both. 
But Jack swiftly climbed down the beanstalk and soon reached down. Yet as the giant was speeding down the beanstalk, with no other way out, Jack swiftly cut the beanstalk from the bottom with an axe. No! And that was the end of the evil giant forever. With the newly found fortunes, Jack was never poor again. Jack not only became wealthy, but he also helped the poor and needy ones. Jack and his mother lived happily ever after. Jack was very brave. Yes, he helped others too. Just like generous Jack, hope you will share your new toy with me. 